This is a story that my mom wrote when I, for me and my sister when I was about four. The Special Magic. I would like to tell you a story, not just an ordinary story, but an extra special story about magic. Not just an ordinary magic, but an extra specially wonderful magic. What makes this magic so wonderful? First, it's not pretend magic as our other magics, but a very real reach out and touch it magic. Second, because the more you learn about this special magic, the more special it will become. This wonderful magic has a name, and that name is Easter. I can hear you say that Easter isn't magic at all, but only a holiday. If you will listen very carefully, perhaps I can show you a very special magic that is Easter. This magic change comes every single year. Before you were born or your parents were born, long before anyone can remember, the Easter magic was happening and people were celebrating it in many ways. How happy we are at this time of year. All the trees and grass and seeds that were sleeping so soundly that they almost seemed to be dead began to wake and grow in the spring sunshine. Have you ever seen a tiny hard flower seed or a dry and crackly flower bulb? Have you ever wondered what turns them into beautiful flowers? Can you guess? Of course, it's the Easter magic. Warm sun and soft rain work magic in a special real life way. And that is why we so enjoy the gift of flowers at Easter. How sweetly they remind of us of the special Easter magic. Let us think for a moment about the changes we see when Easter comes. The weeks and the months that come before Easter time are cold and snowy. In order to play out of doors, boys and girls must wear mittens and snowsuits and even their noses glow with the cold. But as Easter draws near, our very special magic begins to happen. One day we find that we don't need our mittens. Another time we hear a bird singing a song we haven't heard all winter long. Day by day, the air gets warmer and the friendly sunshine begins to sweep away the, gra the gray winter clouds. Until at last, we can say with happy voices that spring is surely here. I'm sure you've seen the smooth, rounded egg. Have you ever wondered what turns it into a fluffy baby chick? That's right, the Easter magic again. The unborn chick safe inside a snug egg home is another part of our magic. And that is why we make brightly colored eggs at this time, to remind us that even though the egg may be cool and still, the Easter magic is sleeping within. Some of us may celebrate by wearing a new hat or our prettiest dress on Easter. In this way, we show that the whole world is looking. It's most beautiful and that we are happy. And now, look around you. The Easter magic is coming. And if you keep your eyes busy looking and your ears busy listening, who knows? Perhaps you will be the first one to discover it this year.